Hey friends, it's Anjali here. It's Tuesday, May 18th. Welcome to the Mission's Changes My Life show by Global Hope India with Kevin White. This is the podcast where we say yes to God's call to go make Christ known in India and around the world. On Tuesday, June 15th, Kevin will be hosting Global Hope India's monthly international call to prayer live broadcast from the USA via Zoom, YouTube or Facebook at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Full details at globalhopeindia.org slash pray. We'll see you there. Okay, now here's your host, Kevin White. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much, Anjali, for that warm welcome. And I want to join her and our entire team in welcoming you to Missions Change My Life. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm waving at you right now. You can catch this entire episode on YouTube or on your favorite podcast player. But I would love to for you to go over to YouTube, subscribe, leave a comment there, let us know that you're watching and we are going to take you into an incredible episode today as we share with you a glimpse of one of our international call to prayer. Every single month, the third Tuesday of each month at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we host an international call to prayer via Zoom, YouTube, and Facebook Live. And we invite you to one in the future, but today is just a glimpse as we together cry out to God for the nations. Psalm chapter 2 verse 8 actually says, "Ask and I will give you the nations." Well, I don't know about you, but I don't necessarily need nations. I'm pretty sure the whole intent of Psalm 2:8 is that we, the people of God, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, would cry out for Almighty God to give us the nations so that we can go and make Christ known among all nations. That's what this show Missions Change My Life is all about. So I invite you now to join us for this international call to prayer. Hello. Good evening wherever you are. Good morning if you're in the USA. Many of our friends from around the world are joining us. My name is Pastor Kevin White. I am the founder and executive director of Global Hope India, and it is a blessing. We are going to be lifting you up in prayer as we pray for India. as we pray for all of the people far from god that this would be a day of salvation all across the world predominantly in the 1040 window that quadrant on the map from africa all the way through india and over into china there's 7 billion people alive on planet earth today 4 billion have limited i'm mean, i'm sorry 4 billion have access to know who jesus is today and 3 billion have limited to no access. We're going to be praying for them that we the church would finish the task that Jesus has given us as we are co-laborers with him in the great commission found in Matthew uh, chapter 28 verses 18 through 20. And in Matthew 24 verse 14 it says the good news of this kingdom will be preached in all nations. On this call we have the US represented, we have India represented, we have Africa represented and Thailand and Philippines and this is an international call to prayer. Wherever you are in your time zone, we welcome you. We encourage you do not just observe this prayer. We encourage everyone to participate and be in prayer. as we are praying that we would believe God to be who he says he is and to do what he says he will do and so please tell me where you are we are blessed to have one of our uh founding partners over in India on the call today pastor shaker is going to lead us in prayer he will read a scripture and then lead us in prayer and so we're going to invite 
Pastor Shaker now, if you will, to to lead us in prayer. We welcome you to the call. Can I read the scripture, brother? Yes, please. If you would read the scripture and then lead us in prayer for two minutes, please, as we get started. Thank you so much. Pastor is in Thailand, and we welcome you to the call. If you would guide us in prayer, we'll come back to Pastor Shaker once his video stabilizes. Good evening. All right. The scripture for today is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And Father, we thank you for this time, O oh God, as we gather together, Lord, to pray for the, the, the salvation of everybody, O oh God. Yeah. And Father, we pray, <coughs> Lord, for this uh, world, Father, we pray that everybody that doesn't know you, Lord, Lord, that, that they will realize that they will go to eternal hell without you, Jesus, oh God. And Father, we pray, Lord, for every minister, every believer, oh God, we pray that their heart will hunger, Lord, to, to reach out to those people, oh God, to share the gospel with, with them, oh Lord. Let them know who you are, that you are the true and living God, Father. Father, we pray that every person, Lord, who have heard about you, Lord, we pray that the Holy Spirit will begin to convince in their heart, Lord, the Holy Spirit is the one that moves in them, oh, Father of God. Lord, right now, Lord, we pray that every person that has been shared with the gospel, will, Lord, will know you and accept you as a personal Savior, oh God. And God, we just want to live every part of this world, Lord. We know there are many, many who are lost. Even now, Lord, there are people who are suiciding, has been raised, raised, oh Father. Father, we pray, Lord, they, they will have hope in knowing you. There will be joy in their lives, Lord, because you are the true and living God. Lord, yes. we just commit every soul into your hand. Lord, we ask the Holy Spirit to move. Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, amen. Thank you, Pastor, for guiding us in that, in that prayer. I am going to now lead in prayer, and I want to share this out of Romans chapter 12, verse 12, it says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. We want to pray over everyone on the call. And on the call, we have leaders from around the world, believers from around the world. And many are facing persecution and afflictions and trials and troubles. And we're going to pray to a God that cares about every trouble that we face, every trial that we face, and is able to use them uh, for his glory. So will you please join me in prayer now? Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity to lift up my brothers and sisters around the world. I praise you for this opportunity to come into your presence and to realize that in your presence, is found perfect love and you say that perfect love cast out all fear and i pray father that you would undergird every brother and sister every believer every leader on this call with your powerful mighty presence father that you would be an ever-present help in time of need father we know even as we were preparing for the call people were sending prayer requests that loved ones have passed away we think of John, and as his brother-in-law passed away, but Father, today we, we know that there are churches that are looking for land. There are churches that are seeking to be constructed. There are pastors and their families in need of food today. There are orphans in need of food. And we thank you that in your word, you promise to provide for all of our needs. And so, Father, as we draw near to you, as we humble ourselves before you, Father, would you spring forth from heaven and would you meet every need on this call? Father, we pray that any weapon formed against us would not prosper. And we pray that any enemy that is not of the, the Lord Jesus Christ would be forced to flee. Father, we, we pray thanking you that greater are you that is in us than he that is in the world. And so we would stand with our resurrected Savior, Jesus Christ, and command Satan to be gone to be bound, to be gagged and muted, and every force of darkness to be halted here and now in the name of Jesus, that we can be free to know and do our Heavenly Father's will. 
Father, I pray for a keen awareness of your presence among my brothers and sisters around the world. I pray, Father, that they would be aware of your presence, of your love, of your peace, of your power. And we pray that you would allow their hands to lack no good gift from your hands, that you would provide clothing, food, transportation, shelter, whatever is the physical human need. Thank you that if you can care enough about our salvation to send your one and only son, as Pastor Alain read for us, if you can if you can bring forth John 3.16 into our life, surely you can take care of the shirts on our back and the food in our, in our bellies and the roof over our head. And so we just look to you as our provider, as our healer, as our deliverer, and we commit these needs to you in Jesus' name. Hey, it's Angeli. We'll be right back. As Global Hope India's founder and executive director, Kevin White is an international pastor, speaker, and best-selling author of Audacious Generosity. Kevin has been to India over 50 times, taking 1,000 people on short-term mission trips. Kevin loves to help people prosper from God's guidance and provisions. Learn more at kevinwhite.us. Make sure to visit globalhopeindia.org and join thousands of people who pray, give and go. Global Hope India has over 20 years of missions experience in India. Now everyone can go to India virtually on one of GHI's virtual mission teams. Over 1 billion people in India have never held a Bible. Most people in India lack access to even know about Jesus. Join Global Hope India in changing that. Go to globalhopeindia.org today to pray, give, go! Okay, now back to the show. Pastor yeah. Shaker, please share with us your passage of scripture and pray. lead us in prayer for two minutes, please. I'm reading from James chapter 5, verse 13. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Yes. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. God bless you. God bless the scripture. And let us pray. The heavenly gracious Father, thank you very much for the day. I praise you for this opportunity to pray along with all my brothers and sisters who are assembled in different places, different continents, and different countries. Thank you, Father, for this day. In your word, you said, those who are suffering, let them pray. Those who are cheerful, those who are rejoice, let them sing songs. Yes. Yes, Father. Even in the suffering, we'll be singing songs. Because you are with us because you are leading us. You know the present days in this world, in this society, what is the problems which we are facing in India? We are unable to go, take the gospel, to take the gospel, advance the gospel in these different places to fulfill your great commission. We are carrying your cross on our shoulders and taking your gospel to the unreached places. Give us strength. Give us your power and bless us with your guidance so that we can take the gospel to the corners of the world. Father, bless Global Hope India and bless all our partners Bless our sponsors, everyone who are paying for us. And bless our congregations, bless our churches. Give us wisdom to fight against all the works by the devil. Paul and Silas, they prayed when they are in the jail. They have, you have broken the, the doors of the jail the same way 
when we are all put together and pray for our for your holy spirit amen thank you so much pastor praise the lord thank you we have on the call our partners there in india pastor bernard shaw as well as pastor manaj and I welcome you. We are starting an initiative, as you are aware, at Global Hope India to do virtual events. And we want to pray for obedience to the Great Commission. I'd love for both of you to just lead us in brief prayer each that believers around the world would hear the voice of Jesus as he cries out, go you therefore into all the world. And obviously international travel is prevented but we live in a day that god has just like on this call united us together using technology both of you are eight thousand miles away from where i'm broadcasting right now and yet you're on the call hallelujah and so we want to pray that believers would hear the call to to a virtual missions experience just as they would walk through your gates there in india that they would walk through your gates and into your hearts and open their hearts up to to you and to the the work of god in their life and so i would i would ask pastor Anaj and priya beautiful to see you if you would lead us in prayer first just reading from Acts 17 28 which says for in him we live we move and we have a being in existence lord oh god we thank you for great commission great commission that you have assigned on each one of our lives yes and we thank you lord for uh, your given is giving us the grace giving us the favor and all that is needed for you have said go and i shall be with you mm -hmm. so lord we thank you for as we are doing our best to obey the great commission you are empowering us you are strengthening us we thank you for all those who pray who pray for us who support us who come forward participating whether it is in person or now in the difficult times when travel is not easy so we thank you for the technology we thank you lord that men and women of god from across the world from the global church can still participate with us into our local missions that you have given to us we thank you, Lord, for this virtual participation, which is soon to happen. We thank you and we pray that you would reach out and that you would encourage more and more men and women of God from across the world who will come forward still to obey the Great Commission during this difficult, challenging times of COVID-19 or any lockdown situation where nothing can stop us from preaching the gospel. For you are building your church, and no gates of hell will prevail against it. And so, Lord, we thank you for GHI, and we thank you for these virtual teams and virtual participations that is becoming possible. We thank you for the technology, and we look forward to the wonderful times we're going to have, where you will lead uh, and connect both sides of our hearts together. Yes. Our friends from us and across the globe who will participate and also us who are here on the ground doing the local missions so lord you will connect us both and also those who are being ministered to yeah the children the, the families the women into red light areas the tribal communities all of those who will hear the gospel who will be touched by your word so we thank you for all this wonderful Things that are going to happen in days to come. We are excited about it and we look forward to great results. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In yes. Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor Bernard Shaw, you can pray in Tamil or Telugu, however you want to pray, but just pray that the we would finish the task for the church yeah. to finish the task of the Great Commission. So let's pray with Pastor Bernard Shaw as he leads us. Lord, we want to pray, Lord, that you can help us to take the great commission, Lord. We want to pray that you strengthen us to do the work that we have given to us, Lord. We want to work together. We want to be faithful to you, Lord. Help us to be faithful in our ministries. 
and to bring God to your name alone. So we want to thank you all for um, of India that has been helping us in so many ways to keep the good connection here in this part of the world and also in many parts of the world of God. So we want to pray for the coming task in our ministry so that God, uh, we have been working on those meetings. Lord, we pray that you will help us to plan everything in the perfect way, Lord, that we will plan everything according to your will. We will start uh, we'll taking a lot uh, every virtual meeting in your day, and then we will start working uh, to get in the name of God. For we want to ask for your uh, favor in our lives, or we ask for God's grace and favor of men in everything we do. But we want to thank you for uh, uh, Kevin and every single person that has been that is for this uh, upcoming virtual meetings. We want to thank you for that. God, we are looking forward to that day when every needle bow, every tongue will confess in the name of Jesus Christ is the Lord. But help us to uh, be faithful, but stay focused in our ministry and look to the great commission of God. Yes, we want to pray for uh, uh, more people to join us in this ministry. But be faithful. Uh, I pray, Lord, that in more people uh, in our ministries that we could uh, join us. Amen. Amen. Pastor, thank you very much. Thank you so much for, for your prayers. And everyone, as you're praying alone with Pastor there, I'm going to invite you to turn on your turn on your camera. If you are listening via YouTube or Facebook, I encourage you to tell us where you're listening from and to share your prayer request. We take your prayer request serious. We pray over our partners in India every single day. We pray John 17 over our partners in India and over our board and over our staff and over everyone associated with Global Hope India and over all of our donors. We are here because of the generosity of people around the world that support the ministry of Global Hope India. We're able to even do this live broadcast because of God's generosity through his people. And so we pray John 17, as Jesus prayed for our protection, for our sanctification, that's a big word basically meaning that we would live set apart for his glory and for our unity, that we would be united with the Trinity the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and with each other around the world, brothers and sisters. And so this, this international call to prayer is a call hosted for the big C church, the, the universal church around the world, people marked by the red blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, followers of Jesus, people who put their faith in Jesus. And we're going to close out in prayer. And I'm going to encourage you, if you will, to lift up your hands toward heaven as I pray over you. And today is uh, one of our staff members, Courtney. Today is her birthday. So we're going to pray birthday blessings over her. But we're going to pray blessings over each of you. And so thank you for opening up your hands to the Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for my brothers and sisters on this call. But even those that did not make it, we know that even today there are many people who don't have the luxury of internet and they, they would love to be on a call like this, but, but they can't. They don't have the funding right now for the internet pack or they don't have the smartphone or they don't have the laptop. But Father, thank you that you're not contingent. Your presence is not contingent on human technology. Uh, we're thankful for the technology, and we praise you for it. But, Father, thank you that you can be in every nation around the world uh, with every believer. And so we do pray for our brothers and sisters around the world, everyone, as we lift up our hands in the U.S., in India, in Thailand, in Africa, in Pakistan, in the Philippines, Father, we do so on behalf of our brothers and sisters around the world. Father, I want to lift up pastors right now that they would lack no good gift from your hands, missionaries, evangelists, teachers, special workers, Father. We pray that you would meet every need 
Father, would they live in your presence moment by moment? Would they never lack a devotional, never lack a sermon, never lack a sense of power, a peace of your presence because they are living in step with your Holy Spirit? Father, I pray for believers, brothers and sisters, people struggling to have shelter over their head and food in their belly. Father, we pray that you would meet their needs. Father, as we continue to struggle with COVID-19, we know that it's on the rise across India and in other countries. Father, we just pray in the name of Jesus for vaccines and for healing and for solutions. Father, that, that this virus could be eradicated in the name of Jesus. Thank you for modern science and, and just the, the way in which you create the bodies to heal themselves. And so we pray that the vaccine would be widely distributed around the world, that no one would lack access to the vaccine and that everyone with access to the vaccine would, would, would trust you enough to take the vaccine, trust you enough to know that, that you are the God that has cured polio. Uh, you've cured leprosy. You've cured uh, so many diseases and plagues in human history. And this is a modern day plague and you are curing it through the doctors and the scientists. This wisdom is from you. We know it's not the USA wisdom or a pharmaceutical company's wisdom. We thank you for every good and perfect gift comes from you. Father, we do lift up Courtney. We thank you for her birthday and anyone that's celebrating a March birthday. And we just pray your blessing over them, a special grace today that you would meet every need that they represent. Father, would you be with our board and our staff and our partners, everything within Global Hope India. Thank you for our donors. Thank you that Jesus promises that it is more blessed to give than to receive. And so I pray special blessings over every person that is contributing to the ministry of Global Hope India, that we can disciple, that we can pray, that we can call people to pray for India, to give to God's work in India, and to go. Lord, as we've already prayed, we commit the virtual uh, mission teams to you, and we pray for your favor, that even today people would hear the call to go, and that they would see the opportunity to go virtually, Father. Lord, we just close out this time of prayer looking to you from where our health comes from. And we want to thank you in advance for meeting our needs. Thank you for your faithfulness. Your word declares, if we be an evil, know how to give good gifts to our children. How much more you, our Heavenly Father, loves to give good gifts to those who ask him. So, Father, give us grace now to keep our hands open to you. And our hearts open to you that we would ask you for more, ask you for your presence, ask you for more of you in our lives, in our villages, in our states, in our nations, in our churches, in our homes, in our hearts. We love you and we praise you in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening to the Missions Changed My Life show by Global Hope India with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program is a copyright of Global Hope India, all rights reserved. Each week we bring you a message of how God uses missions to change people's lives. We're talking real and lasting change through Jesus Christ.